Okie dokie. So, uh, I was asked a question through Facebook, and this question was, should I use a juicer or should I use a blender? Uh, I personally think this is a fabulous question. I think even a lot of the uh, experts in the field fail to understand the difference between juicing and blending. I think in order to really understand what juicing can accomplish, you have to understand a little bit about the human anatomy. So we're going to start there. Majority of America's intestinal tracts have adapted to their environment because most of the food that we eat tends to create damage to the lining of the intestines. So what the intestines have done is they've created like a thick coating to surround the lining of the intestines. This is great because it keeps us from toxic overload. At the same time, what a large amount of people fail to understand is that a lot of the absorption of nutrients happens in the lining of the intestines. So when there's a thick coating around the lining of the intestines, a lot of the nutrition is not getting absorbed through our foods. So when you pull out an apple, you eat the apple, you expect to get what's in the apple, but a lot of times you're not. That's just, that's how it works. That's a big part of the price that we pay for the types of foods that we've been eating. I personally believe that this malnutrition is a big reason for disease. I think it's actually the number one cause for disease. Uh, from the day you stop absorbing nutrition, your body will only break down. Now that you understand how that works a little bit, we can get back to juicing. So what juicing does is it removes the fibers. When it removes the fibers, it's also removing the calories. What remains in the juice is the carbohydrates, the water, the vitamins, and the minerals. Because the fibers are removed, the liquid doesn't have to pass all the way through the digestive tract. This means that rather than losing the nutrients through digestion, we're actually able to absorb all of the nutrition through the lower part of the stomach. Now, the downside to that fast absorption is that if your juice contains a large amount of sugar from fruit, you're going to be getting those spikes in your blood sugar, and that's not necessarily a good thing. So the primary benefit from juicing comes from when you juice large amounts of veggies, dark leafy greens, and a little bit of fruit to mask the taste. I would consider juicing a source for micronutrients, so those are the vitamins and the minerals. Now, using a blender to make smoothies, on the other hand, serves another unique purpose. By using a blender, you've already made the digestion process so much easier. But because the fibers are still intact, you're still getting the calories. And it also has to complete digestion. So it's not being absorbed in the stomach, it actually has to pass through the lining of the intestines. So because of that instance with the damaged intestines, I wouldn't assume that you're getting the vitamins and the minerals. But you are getting a large part of carbohydrates from the fructose, from the fruit. So the real benefit from smoothies comes from the calories and the energy. Fruit is a perfect source for energy, and it's also a great way to make sure that you're meeting your caloric needs for the day. When the body is either deficient in glucose or calories, it tends to go towards starvation. So symptoms of starvation range anywhere from depression, lack of motivation, food cravings, and lack of sex drive, which I know is something that I've suffered from in the past. Also, another cool fact about fruit is fructose doesn't trigger insulin response. So it's also a diabetic-friendly way to get your carbohydrates. More importantly, don't cut your carbs. Every single cell in the human body requires glucose from carbohydrates for energy. Do not cut your carb or you'll be a zombie. So if you cut your carbs, you're going to end up being a zombie. Welcome the underworld. I don't know what I want to do with life. I just don't know what I want to do with my life. I feel so alone. I feel like a zombie. So... Don't cut your carbs. It's important. Keep your carbs up to keep your energy up. So let's recap. Juicing for micronutrients, right? Vitamins, minerals, right? Not so much sugar. You don't want to. You don't want to do too much juicing with sugar, right? Then you got your blending. Your blending's for carbohydrates and calories, right? Not your micronutrients. Your macronutrients of carbohydrates. So juice for health. Blend for energy. My God.